through the years, my job has always been working with my hands. I went to high school and then the army and then became a plumber and at work I was working in a confined space too long and I went to stand up and I couldn't stand up straight and ended up going to the doctor after and they found out it was a herniated disc. So from there I had a one back surgery where they took part of the disc out and uh, I was good for a year. I went back to work and sitting on my toolbox I went to get up my leg gave out. Went back to the doctor and they said a disc fragment broke off, you need another surgery. So they said we have to do a fusion and they put the rods and screws in. They took uh, some more x-rays like six months, eight months, and then a year. The diffusion didn't take. Um, your screws are moving in your vertebrae. I think it was 2001 was the last surgery. I woke up with a brace around my waist. I said, what's that for? And they said, well, that's temporary. We want to make sure that it, it's going to have time to fuse. I still wear the brace to this day. I never got back to work after that because I didn't recover. So I wear a $2,000 brace to be able to stand or sit. For the aches and pains, I, I can only take Tylenol and Advil because I can't take uh, medications because I have another disease, it's narcolepsy. But I need something because it's almost like an arthritis building. It's hard to explain it to some people that don't have chronic pain. You don't work, you feel like you lose your self-worth. So I do wood projects at home. It's just therapeutic and I don't sell anything. I don't like to sell, I like to just give back to the community. So making projects, giving them to people, they're like astonished, like, you made that? You know, I'm in chronic pain, but I still have a mind, still have some muscles that, that do work. I guess my best time is in the morning. Um, after lunch, it's, my body's like running out of gas. I think most of the time when we go to, like if we have a doctor's appointment and it's for a chronic pain condition, we don't know if it's going to be good or bad that day. And if it's almost like the chronic pain person feels guilty if we're, if we're good that day because we feel like the doctor's not going to see the real us, the real me in pain. It's been a rough road, but in the end, like now, seeing you know the light at the end of the tunnel, I say, it's easier because I can look back and say, I've already gone through that. I'm not giving up yet. Pain is inevitable. Suffering is an option. And I say that um, you can still have, have a fulfilled life with chronic pain. You just got to be more creative and adjust your life to your condition.